on the night of January 2002, the day after the attack on the unknown vice lord enforcer, Claude Burks, directed a UBL member in Oxford, Mississippi, to provide him with weapons. That same day, the UBL member complied by purchasing the HES 223 caliber semi-automatic rifle and ammunition for nationwide guns in Oxford, Mississippi. The UBL member also purchased 7.62 time 39 millimeter ammunition suitable for use in that of a SKS rifle. The UBL delivered the HES 223 rifle with ammunition to Burks and Robert Cochran along with a 12-gauge shotgun, which is also equipped with a pistol grip, a 12-gauge shotgun, and shotgun shells. The night of January 31st, 2002, the unknown vice lord retaliated for the killing of Pate and the shooting of Michael Stearns. Earlier in the evening, Burks and the other unknown vice lords met at the gang's headquarters, the Blues House, and planned a retaliatory attack the group armed themselves in the darkness as they silently, silently approached the house on 708 Iowa Street in Clarksdale, Mississippi. The armed gang members positioned themselves around the house and on command, they blasted the house with rifles, shotguns, and pistols, firing into the house numerous times. One of the weapons used in the attack was a fully automatic AR-15 rifle. At the time of the attack on Iowa Street, the house was occupied by a woman and small children, all of whom escaped without injury. During this period of increased gang violence, the unknown vice lords temporarily used the motel room and crossed their as their base of operations, while other unknown vice lords drove the street looking for enemies to kill. On one occasion, Stearns expanded the unknown vice lords' drug territory by leading a group of armed unknown vice lords to confront another street gang by taking over part of their territory. That day, Stearns gathered unknown vice lord members at the blue spot and distributed weapons to UBL members. Stearns led the group to the block of to the sixteen hundred block of Grant Street which was the conservative vice lord's territory. There, Stearns and unknown vice lord confronted several CVL members and brandished their weapons and forced the CVLs to leave. Michael Stearns later expanded the unknown vice lord drug operation from the blue spot to new territory, using the house and an apartment on the 600 block of Grant Street. During the takedown, Federal agents found scales, boxes of ammunition, two-way radios, and documents found at the house that indicated that UBS was searching the internet for bulletproof vests and night vision goggles. Agents also found UBL gang documents, including a list of attendees at meetings and papers consisting of signed UBL oaths by new members. Ultimately, Michael Stearns was given 43 years to serve while Chief Enforcer Claude Burks was given 15 years in federal prison on firearm and drug charges.